over here you can see that I have a photo opened up and it is in a layer. If I were to go around onto the move tool right here, then I can resize out this image right here and keep it wherever I want. So I'm just going to go around, resize it and press the check mark right here. But once I do this, something happens. If I were to go around onto the move tool again and then resize it, you can see it being pixelated right here. So might not seem like a big deal because uh, once you press check, it has to be cleared out, right? But it doesn't clear out. It did lose uh, detail right here. It did lose pixels. That is because this is not a smart object right here. So uh, what you can do is you can make pictures smart objects. So all you need to do is whatever photo you import onto a, um, Photoshop, it gets imported in photo bin right here, just like this. So let me just press Control Z a few times so that it gets back to original. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new blank file right here. So you can see that there's the uh, picture right here and there's the file. So all I need to do in order to create a smart object that does not lose details when it resizes is click and drag the um, uh, uh, picture file right here over here, just like this. And this is a smart object and you can tell by seeing this little icon right here. You can go around and resize this as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and resize it, uh, resize it, press the check mark button right here. And I'm going to go around and resize this out again, just like this. So it does seem to be pixelated. But if I were to press the check mark, you can see that you get the detail back right here. That is because the smart object um, is there. The, so so uh, the object that you're seeing is smart. This one is not a smart object right here, but this one is. If I were to go around and make changes to this, as you can see right here, just like this, and go around over here, then you can see that I, it is still safe. You can see that I did take the sample from this um, uh, picture for the smart object, but over here, once you import it, the smart object just stays in like this, and then you can resize it however you want, and it is safe. So that is how you can utilize the uh, smart objects inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.